right, what's going on everyone? My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you guys another video. Here today, we're gonna be doing some technical analysis. I wanted to take a look at the Bitcoin price chart and share with you guys my thoughts, some things that I'm looking at in terms of indicators and current price levels. Also, how that plays out into the overall trend. So my thoughts on where we can expect to be in terms of the next six months to the next year. So if you are interested in that type of content, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you did find some value and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe as well. I post cryptocurrency news, technical analysis, all different types of content here on this channel. So to get things started, what I've got, again, this is uh, just my opinion, guys, not financial advice. What we're looking at here, the Bitcoin price is in a descending triangle. So we have a flat horizontal line and we can see a downward sloping lower high channel thingy uh, okay so I've got my line drawn guys I'm telling you this is not financial advice I'm just giving you my opinion so the price we can see has been coiling here not able to make higher highs we have had a flat line of support here around about the mid 95s and we can see the 200 day moving average is coming up it's closing in on around the 8300 dollar level so this is very confluent with some levels of support you know the price was around this level for quite a while maybe about a week and it kind of broke off from there it just kind of did this parabolic move so we were chilling at 86 and we went to 1400 so we're right now back at around 98 96 are we going to be able to get this push up to break above this downward sloping resistance or are we going to break below this horizontal support um, as far as what I'm looking at the MACD is in the oversold territory. We're sloping down. I'm thinking that we're going to have this kind of cross kind of hook action if we do decide to break to the upside. So I'm looking at that on the MACD. And the RSI also is sloping very similar to this price here. You know, if we draw the line. So I've got the line drawn right there. Yep, so we're just going to see what happens here with this RSI. Volume, descending volume. So we might have a break here soon. Who knows if it's going to be to the upside or to the downside. You know, hopefully whatever we get is cons is confirmed on some strong volume. I would hate to have uh, a bear trap or a bull trap. That would not be fun. <laughs> I'm sure that there are a lot of people going on leverage right now, but yeah, I don't want to get into that. As far as what I think is going to happen, you know, if we go lower, there's going to be a lot of buyers. It's going to get bought up very quickly. And if we go higher, that would just continue the overall trend. So, you know, the the bears really have to prove themselves in this instance. Right now, the bulls are able to defend this horizontal support, and that's currently where we're at. So we're keeping an eye on it. And how does this play into the overall trend? Well, right now, I think... Uh, Chico Crypto did a great video. I want to shout out Chico Crypto. He shared this graphic on one of his videos and I found it very useful. So thank you to you. And how does this work into my strategy? Well, what I'm looking at here and from what he said, the blue is where you would want to be looking at accumulating like price ranges that go down into the blue level that is accumulation zone and red is when you would want to short or go or, or sell your position so up in this level is where you would want to potentially go long and up in this level is potentially where you would want to go short um, and that's what I'm looking at I'm looking at this not from trying to day trade this market I I'm not gonna give you guys information on how to day trade because that doesn't work for a lot of people. I know it didn't work for me. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. So how am I trying to do this? Well, I mean, I'm not trying to pay a whole lot of attention to the noise of the day-to-day. -day. I, I want to stay sane as best I can. So when the price goes into this blue level, 
I'm looking at that as an opportunity. You know, it, it does come down to your own personal situation. Whether or not you're even looking at this market is, you know, you should pat yourself on the back if you're if you're looking at this market. But being able to add into positions right here is an ideal situation. I would want to be looking at that. And I would want to have a strategy to be able to unemotionally become detached from that at this level. That's the hardest part about this game. It's, it's a matter of training your emotions and managing your psychology. Because you have to stay sane if you are going to do something like this. A lot of people do something like this. They're in and out. You know, they say, oh, it's, it doesn't work. You know, it's a Ponzi scheme, whatever. But for those of you who are serious, I mean, I know I am. I'm, I'm pretty serious about it. So it's just a matter of how much patience and education you're willing to give yourself. Yeah, this, this level right here is looking pretty nice. Looking mighty fine. So I'm not entirely concerned about the price at the moment. I am waiting to dollar cost average. I'm sure a lot of you are more concerned about the day to day. Do with it what you will. This is not financial advice, but this is the making of history. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to subscribe again if you enjoyed. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.